Disassembling a PS4 CUH7015. In other countries, in Asia, this could be a CUH7000. In Europe, it could be a 7016. The important thing is to look out for the first two numbers after CUH. So if it's a CUH7070 and XX, you know, whatever, put, put your next two numbers in there. As long as it's a CUH7010. This video applies to your PS4 Pro. We're gonna be disassembling everything down to the motherboard. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to disassemble it uh, fully down to the motherboard today. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is remove the top cover and you can do that by sticking your fingers in the front and then lifting it up like that. And it should come off. Next thing we're gonna do is remove the hard drive cover. There's a Phillips screw that we need to remove. I'm gonna use the FastTac Pro Auto Kit. Links in the description. Pull the hard drive out. There's a couple of stickers that we need to remove. These are warranty stickers. In most countries, in the US, these are no longer warranty stickers. Not that it matters anyways, most people watching this do not have any warranty on their PS4 Pro anymore because this is being recorded in 2021. We're gonna remove these stickers with a knife or you could also use a flathead screwdriver. There's gonna be three Torx T8H screws that we need to remove. We're gonna remove the Torx T8H screws with a T8H bit from our FastTech Pro Auto Kit. Then we're gonna remove the bottom cover once the screws are out. Now we're gonna remove all these screws. Some of them are T8 and there's some that are Phillips. These are the T8 ones and the Phillips ones are black. Both of these screwdrivers are included in our kit. We're gonna go ahead and remove these screws. Phillips screws. I'm going to leave one of these Phillips screws in because we still have to remove the power supply and some screws on the other side, and I'll get to that in a minute. So we're gonna flip the console over. Now we're gonna remove these screws to remove the power supply. We're gonna remove this piece. At this point, we're gonna lift the power supply up, but slowly, there's a cable at the front right here that we're gonna to have to remove, like that. That's the power supply. If your PS4 Pro isn't turning on, it could be a dead power supply. We did a video on this. Um, and if you need a power supply, check out our website, fasttechstore.com, fasttech.ca. Now we're gonna flip it over again. 
and remove these antenna cables. You just lift them up and they're gonna come off. Next, we're gonna remove these ribbon cables. This one has a clip. These ones just pull out. This is for the power button at the front. We're gonna pull this one out. This is for the eject button. We're gonna pull this one out. Now we're gonna remove that final Phillips screw that we left in there. Now we're gonna remove this plate. There's a cable here that needs to be unrouted. We're gonna remove these Phillips screws. piece up we're gonna remove these Phillips screws that hold the heat sink clamp on We're gonna remove the fan connector like that. Just pull it out at this point. Lift up the board, should come out like that. That's the motherboard, the PS4 CUH 7000 or 7015. They have the motherboard with the model number NVA001. Doesn't matter if it's a 7016, 7000, or 7015 as they are in US and Canada, it's gonna be an NVA-001. We sell these on our website. So if your motherboard's crapped out, links in the description box if you wanna buy one. At this point, we're at the heatsink. To access the fan or the disk drive, you have to remove the heatsink. The fan and the disk drive are under the heatsink. So we're gonna remove these Phillips screws that hold the heatsink in place. There's two of them, and then this thing's gonna lift out. Normally, if you have an older PS4 Pro like this one, this heatsink would be clogged with dust. There's not any dust in this console. Well, there's some, but not much. The owner of this console kept it clean. Normally, this would be filled with dust, and I recommend that if you disassemble your PS4 Pro, you clean this heatsink out. Now we got the PS4 Pro fan. We're gonna remove this fan by removing these Phillips screws. There's two of them. And that's the fan. There's two different models for the PS4 Pro. This one's a Nidec. These are the more popular PS4 Pro fans. We sell more of these than we sell the other make. And we do sell these on our website as well in case yours is not working anymore. Links in the description box. Next up is the disk drive. There's a Phillips screw here. And there's a Phillips screw here. One here. And one here. It's a long one here. This one's a longer one. Take note of that. Now we're gonna remove the disk drive by lifting it out. And that's the PS4 Pro disk drive. We also sell these on the website. Links in the description box. That's the antenna at the front. If you wanna remove that, there's a Torx T8 screw and this thing's gonna come out. If this thing is broken, your PS4 is not gonna pick up any signals from your controller or there's gonna be a lag. There's two more antennas at the back. If the solder points here are broken, you could have issues with controller connectivity. And that's the power button at the front, eject button. So that concludes our PS4 Pro CUH7015 slash 7000 disassembly video. Please go ahead and smash that like button. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. 
please check out our website at fasttechstore.com or fasttech.ca if you need any PS4 Pro parts, tools, or services. We also offer consultation services. So if you're not a paying customer and you have a question, uh, we'll go ahead and help you out. Links in the description box for that. For any of our products, you can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. This is Young Tech God from Fast Tech signing out, and I'll catch you in the next one.